I'm the Love Dinosaur, and uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about knowing yourself. So, normally I'm a musical person in my videos, all my uh, YouTube videos tend to be music based, uh, but recently I've realized that I have a lot more to say to the world that's not simply about music. You know, uh, basically I really want to talk about following your dreams and, uh, you know, pursuing a spiritual path and a mission in life. And uh, so I'm creating this new series of videos called The Love Dinosaur. Um, the Love Dinosaur was a song I wrote uh, 2007 or so with the help of some of the kids at the school I was working at. Um, and it's a concept that really uh, has never left me. You know, what I define as a love dinosaur is someone who's here on Earth, like this, who recognizes that from an, in the ancient past, they've had a mission connected to planet Earth to actually uh, awaken the planet to its glory, you know, uh, as part of the creation as a co-creator of this universe. So I know it sounds a little mystic and out there and that's that's fine because uh, that's my life, baby. So, okay, know yourself. What I want to talk to you about today is knowing yourself. What does that mean? Well, right now, our life is filled with so many choices in the 21st century, especially with the Internet, I mean, just look on YouTube and there's 20 videos vying for your attention right now on the sidebar, you know. Um, you step outside, depending on where you live. If you live in the city, you got people honking their horns, no patience, advertising absolutely everywhere. Um, and if you search the Internet and you look what other people are doing, other videos that maybe people are putting out, for example, and you say, oh, I want to be like that person. I want to be like her or him. Um, and then what does that mean? Do you want to do what they're doing? Do you want to sell the same product they're selling? Do you want to say the same message that they're saying? Uh, so knowing yourself means, okay, there's something about that person that I like and respect and admire and want to emulate. But is it, but what is it? And most likely what it is, is that they have a passion for something and you want to be passionate about something in your life and you want to be able to share that passion the same way that these other people that we admire share their passion. Probably not that you just want to copy what they're doing, you know. In some cases you might want to follow a very similar path, but probably in most cases when we say we want to be like that person or this person, it's because they have a, a passion that they're deeply connected to, you know, and that they can follow very easily <clears throat> and naturally. So th this is kind of the reason I made this series, Love Dinosaurs, because I have a passion to speak to the masses. And, you know, it could be years past and there's only one or two views on this video. It doesn't mean diminish my passion at all, because I know that this is what I want to do. Well, there could be millions of views. Either way, my passion is this right now. So I want to tell you and share with you, you know, from my experience, that knowing yourself is incredibly valuable. It really puts you at ease. Um, I do encourage you, if you're seeking to find a, uh, to find a direction to move today, right now, you're not sure where to go, what, where to turn. Just, you know, deep delve into yourself, know yourself. What, what really makes me happy? What really makes me tick? You know, this morning I, I watched uh, a Tales from the Dark Side, two episodes, um, because I wanted to. You know, I'm a father now, I'm, I'm a, you know, teacher and a role model, I feel. So 
because like I don't want to like set put any negativity into my mind. So I'm really cautious about what I listen to, what I watch. But I know myself. I know that I used to love Tales from the Dark Side, and I get something out of it. So I watched it, and guess what? I enjoyed it. It was great. I don't feel the worst off for it at all. I feel better even, you know, because I did what I wanted to do. I honored myself. Um, sometimes, you know, honoring our desires could get us into a little hot water. But if that's truly what we want to do, maybe we're going to learn from that hot water and that's a necessary step. And probably the majority of the time it's not. It's just this uh, fear we have that, oh, well, I can't do this activity like I used to do because that's not mature. Well, maybe it's not mature by somebody's standards, but if that's what you want to do and you know you enjoy it um, and it's harmless, then, then go for it. You know, know yourself. Know yourself. You know, I watched a video today about someone speaking about selling books on Kindle. I have a book for sale on Kindle. It's called Music for Health. But guess what? I don't, at this very moment today, I'm not interested in learning how to sell a lot of books. I am interested in putting out videos. I am interested in sharing my message with the world. I am interested in being happy and doing recreation that really uh, makes me feel good and, and relaxed. Yeah. And maybe one day I will want to learn how to sell a lot, a lot of books on Kindle. But today's not that day, and I know myself. So to go down that road just because it seems like I should would be foolish. I'd much rather be here talking to you guys this morning. Um, you know, recently I've been inspired by some people online who were doing similar things, putting out these videos to sort of really bring light and uh, and higher levels of consciousness to the planet. And this is definitely something I do want to do. And actually, I do want to take similar path because I feel passionate about it. Just like when I was young, I felt passionate about playing in a heavy metal band. And I'm also putting on my website a bunch of videos, uh, sorry, well, maybe some videos, but music and pictures from my old rock bands. And this reminds me of the passion that I had at that time. So right now, my passions have changed from I used to be passionate about playing heavy metal, about being the best guitarist I could be, or about being a powerful screaming singer, you know, or uh, about later on about being a great composer. That was a passion of mine, too. Now my passions are food, learning how to cook and bake in the healthiest way, and um, also spending time with my son, my family. Uh, learning about comic books. Uh, my passion now is uh, making videos to share my message of what I feel are uh, deep, uh, sort of spiritual or deep, um, deeply rooted topics that, that touch my life on all levels and I believe will touch your life on all levels. Knowing yourself, I mean, that, that touches all the bases. Know yourself. That might mean keeping a journal. Uh, that might mean for you that, uh, you know, there are two guys I listen to on YouTube a lot recently. One is named Matt Kahn, another named Infinite Waters. And I know when I, if I go home and I don't know what to do, if I turn on Infinite Waters or Matt Kahn, I will probably get into a good rhythm and enjoy listening to them and get something out of it. I know myself. Uh, there are other videos that maybe I think I should watch, but I just won't be interested in them. But I know myself. And right now, this is what I'm interested in. You know, and, you know, years ago, I listened to Metallica every day. And I knew that. And if I tried to put on Whitney Houston, I knew it wasn't going to satisfy me. And it didn't, you know. And I would experiment with other music. But I knew what I really liked. And still today, I love listening to heavy metal. I know myself, and I try other music. Sometimes I like it. A lot of times I don't. I like the music that I grew up listening to, and that's fine. I now I, I know it, you know, and that, that's what I want to encourage you to think about. It's like, 
do you know yourself? Do you know what kind of music you like? Do you know what kind of food you like? Do you know what your passions are right now? These are all great questions to ask. And, and it's a great process of discovery because the more you know yourself, the more on track you can live on a day-to-day -day basis. I used to be afraid of putting out videos that were long. I used to be afraid of putting out videos that people disagreed with. That's, is that knowing myself? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, it is because I know now that, I'm, that I was afraid of it. I can acknowledge it, but I want to share this video. I know it's long. I personally like listening to videos that are fairly long because then I can relax. Then I could get into the vibe of like I'm having a conversation with somebody. If, if I feel like, uh oh, in about a minute, a commercial is going to come on and annoying ad, I got to go run over there and turn it off. Then I can't relax as much. So now knowing that I like to listen to videos that are fairly long, knowing that I like to listen to people speak unedited, knowing that I like to listen to people speak slowly from the in infinite abundance of information in the universe, you know, not necessarily from a script, nothing wrong with the script, it just depends on your purpose. But I do like to hear people like Matt Kahn, like Infinite Waters, speaking from the heart. I love it. I love it. So I want to do that. I want to speak from my heart to you guys, gals, people who are listening. I'm really speaking to myself, and I know that. I know that. And I'm listening, too, because this is from my heart. And when you speak from the heart, the heart opens up, and the heart can receive, even when we speak to ourselves. It's very important to speak to ourselves. I'm daily, I always speak to myself and, you know, call it crazy. I, I'm sure it's not because, you know, we need friendship, we need companionship, and sometimes we don't have it at our immediate disposal, but we have ourselves. You know, I know I'm, I'm be the best friend I'll ever have. Yeah, I have a lot of great friends, but none of them can be come anywhere close to as good of a friend to me as I am to myself because I'm here 24-7. I'm always available to listen. I can always love myself deep, deeply, unconditionally. And I can always depend on myself for that. So knowing yourself is, is, is really knowing what steps do I want to take today? What steps do I not want to take today? Can I be okay with myself if I have 88 subscribers and the next guy has half a million? Can I be okay with myself if I have zero subscribers? And the next guy is 88. Of course you can. Of course I can. You know, when you know yourself, you can love yourself. When you know yourself, you can accept yourself unconditionally. This is who I am. I have every right to be here. I'm equally as valuable to everyone else in the entire universe. Of course, this planet and other planets. We're all equally valuable. And when you know yourself, you can know also how precious your neighbor is, how, that, how precious he or she is to themselves. And then we can honor that, wow, I know how precious I am to myself. Each person must feel the same way about themselves. Um, it seems just natural at that point to honor and respect and love my neighbor meaning the people who inhabit this earth alongside of me. I got to be at peace first. When you know yourself, you know that you have to be at peace before you can spread peace to anyone else. So that also means you can't be, you know, you can't be uh, climbing up a tree to copy the monkey down the block who's climbing up a tree because you're a rabbit. You don't climb trees, right? Or you can't be uh, trying to race down the road next to the rabbit when you're actually a snail. It doesn't work, but you can do what a snail does. And you could, you know, 
grow slowly along and leave this really glorious, shiny silver trail. You know? Each, each of us has a, a, a very unique and powerful gift to give to this world, but it's up to us to find it. We have to know ourselves to do that. Some people keep journals. I love keeping journals. I love writing down my dreams or interpreting something from my dream. But you don't have to do that. Or you could speak it into a tape recorder and listen to it. Like, simply try to remember a dream. I don't know. Pictures might be a good way to, to know yourself. If you could figure out a way to do that. I don't know. Um, I know about myself that I like to organize. I like to throw things out. I like to reuse things. I like to recycle things. I like to reduce my in impact on the planet. So I like to take papers that have been used on one side and use the other side for my notes and stuff. And then I rip them up and I recycle them afterwards. I know that about myself and I enjoy that, you know? I know that I like looking at what's, what food is in the house and what can I do with it if it's healthy enough to eat. And if it's health, not healthy and I realize that and I don't want to eat it, then I know I can throw it out. I know that I like to make choices that really improve my, my well-being and that make the most of the resources that are already available to me. I used to want to, or I used to think at least, that I want to be rich and famous. But now I know that really it's all, everything is relative. And in the end, you know, life will basically seem like all a dream because it'll be gone and be at the foot of death and whatever has happened has happened, for better or worse, you know, and I see, you know, when celebrities die, the world goes on, right? So if I'm a celebrity and I die, the world goes on. So I don't have to be a celebrity. The world will go on. And I could still impact people profoundly in my immediate environment. And now with the, you know, benefit of technology and stuff through the internet, I can impact people profoundly and never be a celebrity. You know, never be known in, by the masses. And that's okay. Because I know myself. I know who I am. Do you know who you are? Are you on the path to learn who you are? We're all on the path. It's We're an onion. Just peeling one layer at a time. Of course, I know myself today. And tomorrow I have to learn something new about myself to really know myself again. And on and on it goes. When you get to the middle, there's just that core. Which is our spirit. We call it our heart. And, and we all share that. It's the spark of life. We could all evolve into countless, infinite, uh, you know, infinite possibilities. This is this is the, the power of, of life, the power of humanity, the power of the universe. That there's so many possibilities, and we're all just an expression of one possibility at any moment, with infinite directions we can go in for the next moment. I know that about myself. I know that I'm much more than John Henry Sheridan, the guitarist, the teacher, the father, whatever, the husband. I know much more than that. But I also know that at this point in time, because I do believe in time, even though I also don't believe in time, I do believe in it because it's practically valuable for me right now. I know that the form that I embody is important and one day it'll disappear and a thousand years from now it will probably be irrelevant or not I don't know but um, yeah we're infinite beings do you know yourself I'm on a path to knowing myself and I believe I know myself well and I'm committed to continuing that process until I know myself completely so much so that I could just disappear into the creation and nobody would be the worse for it. Yet actually richer. Richer. So, I'm the love dinosaur. I'm back. You know it. I know it. I know myself. You know yourself. We're getting to know ourselves. 
and getting to know each other. So until the next video, please continue the journey of your life and enjoy every step of the way. What's my place in the universe? Where is time? And where did it all begin? That is to say, if it didn't at all. And if it did indeed begin, then indeed it will have an end. And just like us, a birth and death, babies cry and dying breath.